Welcome back to Temple Street Children's Hospital. We're having our Christmas bun fight. It's been great fun across the morning, hasn't it? Has the beach yeah. been We've had some cracking guests. But now, let us introduce you to some of the unsung heroes who work in Temple Street and who fundraise for Temple Street. Let's start with Malachi. Malachi, you started running and joined the cause. And once you join, there's no leaving until the day you die. <laughs> so so you've, uh, the, the Air Iron Half Marathon was the last one you did. Yeah, yeah, I did the uh, Air Iron Half Marathon um, twice in the last uh, three, four years. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastic event. It's been running for 10 years. Uh, it has raised over 1 million euro at this stage. Fantastic. And it raised uh, 100,000 last year alone. Fantastic event. Anyone interested in running should really get involved in it. And of course, Podigal Canada, who, who's the head of Air Aaron, That's supports right. it fully, endorses it fully, has run it himself. Oh, absolutely. And is looking forward to this year's, which takes place over the weekend of the 8th, 10th of April 2011. That's right. That's Full right. details on the Temple Street website, by the way. Here's a man who, anyone who comes into the hospital, will have no problem identifying whatsoever. Indeed, if their parents were coming into the hospital, <laughs> they'd recognise them. I was talking at home about coming down today, and my wife pointed out that I had my tonsils taken out here in the 70s, and my young fella had his tonsils taken out here about four or five years ago. So, can we have them back? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but John, you had a portering here, you've got a big staff, it's a busy, busy place. How difficult is your job? My job is actually very easy, I think, with the commitment and dedication of all the staff that you see here this morning. The children, the patients, the parents who come into the hospital really and truly make a difference to our lives here. We don't just look upon it as a mundane task. Uh, no two days are the same. But when you see the smiles of satisfaction, and the simplistic words from parents saying, thank you, we know we've done our job well. Your family has done nearly 100 years' worth of service here. At this I'm place. glad you remind me of that, because I might get another <laughs> statuette in a year or two. I think we're just shy of, I would like to call a father and son relationships of the next two years we will have to celebrate 100 years' service. At well the done, that's yeah. absolutely brilliant. Well done, John. Okay, just standing behind John is Kevin New York. And Kevin and his mate uh, Brian came up with this idea of cycling and raising money. But it was cycling with a difference. Tell us about it, Kevin. Well, it, was, uh, it, was, it was great this year. Um, we had a thousand people get on bikes for Temple Street and cycle to the electric picnic, uh, which uh, kind of around 78 kilometres. And uh, I was, it was super. It's an extremely good thing to get involved in from, uh, from our perspective as two wheels bike shops yeah. and the logistics of it all. But, Fair play to the girls That's here. 300 grand you raised. 250,000. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so well, first off. Well, we didn't. Everyone. Yeah, uh, that's, everyone that's, that's did, fair so. enough. Collectively, <laughs> and you're aiming for the half a million of the next electric picnic. That's right, and hopefully we get 2,000 people next year. Hear that, everybody? Anyone got a bike? <laughs> you're going. You're going. You're going. You're going. Now. While Yilau were busy pedalling, somebody was sitting on the back of a bike being, being brought across <laughs> Route 66 in style. Geraldine, it was a wonderful trip, I take it. It was amazing. Yeah, it was, it was my, like, I saw it was eye open and just kind of the different landscapes that you go through and mainly the camaraderie between the team. Like, there's a group of road captains and they looked after us. They've broken it down in smaller groups and I think without the road captains, we'd have probably been lost. Like, it, every day they wake up and their main priority is taking care of, like, so many lives on the road and they do it with such integrity integrity and it's Brilliant. just it's it's breathtaking to see how they work. Well, I see Tommy Toller and Tommy Houghton here as well from yeah. who who've been on that trip so often and look after you so well. It was this day last year that I got roped into doing the Route 66 <laughs> what a, trip. What a great and now trip. today I might be roped into doing an electric <laughs> next year and getting on a leprechaun's bike on the Paddy State Parade so I'm not coming back here next year. <laughs> <laughs> it's great stuff. Um, <laughs> Elvis is with us again. Well, Elvis is with us this morning as well for the Blue Stack Shoes. That was an amazing idea. You, said, well, you were in Dublin at one point and then heading up to Donegal. Yeah. Um, How did it go? Oh, very good. It was a good uh, family fun packed weekend. I think we raised uh, 200,000. Oh, well done. 200,000. Yeah. absolutely. How do people sign up for next year? By an Elvis um, costume, first of all? Yeah, and you just uh, it's, uh, buy tickets. I look at the Blue Stack Shoes.ie website. Okay, and away and, we go. Uh, Blue, yeah. Blue Stack Shoes. Yeah, uh, you, or you find it through a link, KN Network Services as well, you'll see the link. Nice one, yeah. OK. Uh, now, Breed of Morn, I just want everyone to clap and scream <laughs> and shout. Worked all her life here at Temple Street, has, uh, has mentored a lot of young nurses, has helped them through the early stages of their career, and I doubt watched them go on to be hugely successful as well. Um, nurse of the Year, congratulations. Thank you very much. I imagine it is a very uplifting and rewarding hospital to work in. It is. It's um, a very nice hospital, um, Temple Street. It's been here for a long time, originally by the Irish Sisters of Charity, um, and there are still some of the sisters here. Um, but they're not working. Um, so um, it's uh, very busy. We have about, in A&E, about 55,000 
patients attending our A&E every year, Fantastic. and we have a capacity of about 142 beds. So it's busy, and um, all of the children around here are from some of the wards. So. Um, they're very good to come in today. And Do you get Christmas off this year? Well, I get Christmas off. I'm lucky. Some of my colleagues now, and they would be the, the girls that, that are behind you there, and they work very hard. Work. And I suppose with the, with, it's not just all the nurses. It's, it's the medics, it's the OTs, it's the physios, which puts the whole thing. It's the clerical staff and the housekeeping, cleaning. They make it because without yeah. that square in the box, um, the patient wouldn't get a very efficient and effective care. Well, congratulations to Thank you. you very continued much. success. Just before we go to the break, just, be, just before we, I know we're, we're, we talk to Angie Mangosi a little bit later on as one of the fundraising chiefs here, but I can't not talk to Ray Shah very quickly. <laughs> Standing at the end of the line, for God's sake. Ray, you're always fundraising with the hospital. This year, where were you? We went to Argentina and Patagonia this year on the trek. Uh, raised loads of money, 100 grand. Couldn't have done it without this woman here. Oh, well, well, well done, done sir. We'll talk before the end of the show. Yeah, cheers. Let's take a little break. See you back for more in a few minutes' time. Well done, guys.